What's up, Honda Heads? Thanks for coming back and checking out this channel. So guys, today is finally the day. We're gonna be taking the EG uh, over to Import DPS. We're gonna be uh, tuning with Danny. Um, I am super stoked and excited, but also super nervous, man, because you guys, uh, if you guys know anything that happened when your car is on the rollers, man, you're not guaranteed nothing. So I'm just hoping that uh, this bad baby uh, stays intact and I can come back in one piece. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I started doing some little prep work uh, to uh, get the car uh, ready to get trailered over to uh, Philly. Uh, like taking off the uh, intake here, the intake tube, because unfortunately it is raining outside and I do not want to um, have water go rest in there. And when I'm up there, uh, I just overlook it and you know, water gets sucked up into the engine. So I ended up taking that off. I'm gonna cover the, uh, uh, there we go, the uh, hood exit as well. And uh, yeah, load this up and hopefully we'll be uh, up in Philly within the next hour and a half. So stay tuned, guys. Champ is here. Champ is here. All right, guys. So yeah, my brother just finally uh, came in as usual. He's always late. Uh, he's going to be helping me load this car up into the trailer. He's going to take a ride up with me to import DPS. So yeah, hopefully uh, he's going to see if he can get in the car uh, and uh, drive it around to the front. So stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, so I got the car all loaded up back there, thanks to this guy, for nothing, because he couldn't get the damn car. <laughs> <laughs> the stop nah, yeah, so we're on our way back right now. I got the Queen Bee right back there. Nani, say what's up? Hey. And uh, yeah, we should be there within uh, the next hour and a half, so yeah guys, stay tuned. traffic on a Saturday. Who gets stuck on traffic on a Saturday, Amy? This guy. This guy here. We're stuck in traffic on a Saturday. That's crazy. It's bullshit. It's bullshit.
put it into uh, import DPS. Got the hatchet right there. Um, we got the uh, dyno right back here and uh, all the uh, DP M5. So we're gonna be running right there. Hopefully it all goes well, but got the only little pull for it. There we go, look at that. Did you clean the pipes out? You took a shit? No. Yeah, you feel like you knew? No, yeah. Five pounds lighter. Yeah, guys, so we, um, we're going to be the third round or third round uh, for tuning. We got this uh, green EG and we got this uh, black coop. And after the black coop, uh, we're going to be uh, loading up with the uh, EG. So, yeah, let me see if we get some uh, pulls of this EG on the dyno. It's our turn to go on the dyno now, so we got the EG inside the uh, the bay here. Waiting for Donnie to come in and uh, put the car on the roller. So I'll pick back up with you guys once uh, he got the car strapped down and uh, starts doing a hit. So stay tuned. But I'll be fine with uh, I think with 310, I, I, I leave here a happy camper. So, yeah, let's see.
a little hiccup with the uh, car. Uh, I ended up happening that the injectors that I have in there, the 1050s, uh, I ended up buying them second hand and uh, they were a bit dirty. Uh, Danny ended up pulling the fuel rail off and uh, started up banging them on a, on a hard surface and seeing a whole bunch of like, uh, like particles come out. So we ended up removing the injectors to see if we can get them cleaned up, flow tested real quick to slap them back on to see if we can get to a, a, a full clean pass on the car. So stay tuned. So the EG is back in her resting spot, um, back here in my garage. Uh, wasn't able to uh, record an outro there at the uh, at Import DPS. Uh, that place got real crowded, crowded, and I'm still a bit camera shy. So yeah, guys, uh, she did all right. Uh, wasn't the power I was expecting. Um, off top, off the top of my head, I was uh, expecting for a little bit more power, uh, but I did also run into a couple little issues while I was on the dyno. Uh, first and foremost, I'll run them down real quick with you. Uh, the second I got into the dyno, we were having uh, some sort of issue with the TPS uh, where it wasn't reading it, and uh, Donnie ended up, um, you know, figuring that out. Uh, uh, got that to work. Uh, also, we ended up uh, running into the problem where the wideband sensor had taken a crap and I ended up having to replace it. That uh, was problem number two. Uh, what else? Yes, the injectors that I had in there, I ended up putting uh, the injector dynamic 1050s in this uh, K24 motor. And, you know, when he started trying to uh, put the fuel uh, or put the fuel map, for the 1050s, uh, they were drying up. You know, it was uh, not giving him the uh, f the fuel output or whatever that he was uh, directing it on the laptop. So uh, we ended up taking them injectors off, 
come to find out the injectors were clogged we ended up having to clean the injectors also which that was a problem number three and uh what else um and yes the biggest issue that i was having uh towards the uh end of the tune uh was that he ended up diagnosing that my vtc gear was damaged it was not reading properly and i was capped out at a certain degree of timing or, or something like that um as to what he was able to do within the laptop so yeah guys the car ended up making 282 horsepower i was the first pull that's the first uh this is how he made the determination by looking at the fuel curve that was on the actual map and um every pull after that it just it got gradually a bit worse I, I was losing power rather than gaining power so the first pull right from the jump the car ran uh, or hit 282 horsepower i forgot what it was in torque but yeah 282 then when he uh commanded the uh the uh car to i guess start adjusting the timing to try to get more jam out the car car ended up losing power and that's when he um started uh trying to diagnose the issue i believe he did a total of four passes and by the time he got to the fourth pass the car was not going anything over the 282 horsepower so he ended up stopping it there there was no point in him continuing to uh, do any more pulls when the issue he already knew off the top that i would need a new uh vtc so he ended up recommending i go with the drag cartel uh fixed 30 or 35 degree uh cam gear so i am going to be uh seeing if i could get that cam gear and start installing it on here but guys uh, we weren't able to crack that 300 mark but um with all the problems we were having he says that once uh we get these issues uh situated with we should have no problem in cracking into that uh 300 uh 300 mark oh another thing i was also having an issue with my alternator i kept dropping voltage these k car these k swap cars i'm having the only headache when it comes to voltage same things happening on my ek where at top end i'm losing voltage don't know as to why the hell that is but guys uh, I'm starting to think I'm having an issue or these K-Tune because I literally got the same exact engine harness and sub harness on both these vehicles. It's the K-Tune uh, engine harness with the hybrid racing conversion harness. I'm not sure if it's that or, if, or what or just the way the charge harness is ran. Uh, according to the way k -Tune wants me to run it on these on these engine harnesses I'm not 100% positive but he told me that the alternator was also bad which because it was dropping voltage so what I'm gonna have to do now is also go take this alternator off go get it uh, get it tested to see as to why the, the car keeps dropping voltage so he said within the voltage dropping and then fixing the VTC gear and installing a new one I should be able to crack over the 300 mark uh, so yeah let's see if we can get that happening or get that done with that being said guys if you guys enjoyed this video I would appreciate it if you guys would uh, smash that subscribe up uh, if you guys enjoyed this video I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the channel like the video share the video comment down below guys and remember stay blessed peace